Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ishmael from Conjured Realm. Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys before the New Year's. I wanted to post this and tell you guys how to manifest more money, how to start going into the New Year with being more abundant, having more money flowing into your life, and just all around having more access to wealth, opulence, and more financial opportunities. Now, I want to say that just because I talk about money in this video, you can literally take the money out of what I'm talking about and replace it with literally anything else, whether it be SP, a job, a project, a promotion, whatever it is. Money is just the example in today's story and video that I'm making for today, but you could always just replace it with any, anything else. One of the main things that I had to realize when I wanted to manifest more money is I would ask myself, what are my beliefs about money? Now, when I first started off in my journey, just like anyone else, we start to think about all the limiting beliefs we have learned along the way of living our lives about money and the way our parents taught us about money and how to spend it and how to save it and whatever all those things we got taught growing up. Obviously, I accepted and took the things that made sense to me and I had to unlearn a lot of the things that were taught to me. Like, for example, I grew up in a family that was not wealthy. We were like lower middle class growing up. I mean, we never really had um, anything missing from our house, but, you know, like we weren't wealthy. So I would hear very frequently, money doesn't grow on trees. You have to work hard to make money. If you don't work, then you'll be homeless. Um, nothing is ever given to you in this life. You have to work hard for everything that you want and need. And you have to put blood, sweat, and tears into everything that you do. Now, when I got into my manifestation journey, I started to realize that that is not true. Now, I don't necessarily blame my parents for teaching me those things because they didn't know about law of assumption or manifestation or anything like that. They just only gave me the tools to live life with what they were given and what they were taught. So I don't blame them and it's not their fault, honestly. But once I started to get into manifestation, I started to really unlearn a lot of these limiting beliefs because those things were not true. Things can be given to you. You can manifest money out of thin air you don't have to work hard you don't have to put in all this effort to achieve something life does not have to be a struggle for you to make money that is simply not the case and i've proven that to myself time and time again over the last few years there was even a point i think i told you guys um where i had no job i had no like sustainable income but i was still making money i was still having money in my bank account now this was when i was like very well into my journey i started to treat money as if it was a person so whenever i would intend or try to manifest money i would always ask myself okay if money was a person how would that person like to be treated obviously you would not go chasing it you would not go looking for it you would not go stalking it you wouldn't do all the things that would make you uncomfortable when manifesting money or literally anything else because obviously you don't want to be treated that way and money is energy so i would affirm for a specific amount whether it be like a thousand or two thousand and i would just visualize this money in my bank account i would visualize me either finding it or counting it out by the hundreds but after i did my affirmations and my visualizations you would not ever catch me dead talking about how I don't have the money or where is the money or how is it going to happen or none of these things are productive or conducive to the end result that you're trying to achieve. So you would just never hear me do any of those things. Every time I looked at my bank account, I pretended like the money was already there. Every time I had a bill to pay, it, I didn't get stressed out. I didn't get worried. I didn't get anxious because guess what? The version of me who has the money, has the money to pay for that bill. So even if I had a little bit of money and it was going to leave me at zero, 
I still paid it anyways because if I'm rich and wealthy, then why am I worrying? And this is the part that people get too stuck on. I don't have the means to make the 3D uh, go along or flow with me as I am affirming. The truth is, a lot of people technically do. It's just you fear that if you get rid of the little bit that you have, that you will not make more for a long time or you won't have any more money for whatever amount of days until your next check. You cannot live like this. I'm not telling you to go spend all your money to prove that you can manifest more. I'm just saying you cannot operate from lack and you cannot operate from fear. If you have a bill to pay and you know that it's something that you use on a daily basis, please pay that bill with the money because guess what? Out there, there's a version of you who has 10 times that amount, 100 times that amount. And we're not affirming to receive something. We're affirming to remember what we already have. So yeah, every time I have to pay a bill, I wouldn't get sad or upset or angry. I would get happy. You mean to tell me that I get to have my lights on and all I have to do is give you a couple hundred pieces of paper like that is amazing i get to keep my hot water running by giving you these pieces of paper like to me that is such an amazing trade-off so you could either look at it that way or by all means just continue to live in the end state the point is you want to treat money as something that's abundant never ending i for the longest time would tell everyone around me that money is literally like oxygen no matter what i would hear on the news there's not enough money people are not printing money like i would not care that's not my reality that's probably happening in a different reality but in this reality there's unlimited money there's no debt there's no chaos regarding money like i can literally manifest whatever amount i want and not affect the society or not affect whatever type of government that says oh the bills are running out or whatever those issues don't exist for me they probably exist for someone else but not for me so back to the story that i was telling you i would manifest and affirm for specific amounts of money to the point where family members and friends would be surprised at how i was making all this money but i was not working truth be told a lot of the times i don't know where the money came from like there would be times where I would just log into my Venmo or my PayPal or my Cash App and there would just be money there. And I'm talking like 200, 300, 450. I would get checks in the mail from old jobs that I've worked saying that there was some kind of like lawsuit and they owed me um, money from that lawsuit or I would always find money on the floor. I remember one time I even found uh how much was it? It was either 550 or six, six, it was something around there, $600 in an envelope on my way um, to my car after I finished shopping at the mall. And I just kept that mind frame that money was very abundant. Money was very like, it could not leave my life even if I wanted it to. So every day I would wake up with this sense of easiness about money. I didn't have to worry because money would always somehow some way find its way to me and some of my favorite affirmations when it came to money is i attract money everywhere i go i'm a money magnet i'm opulent i live a luxurious lifestyle i am rich and wealthy i am rich and wealthy i'm rich and wealthy and these are the affirmations that i would use on the loop consistently when i wanted more money and more income in my bank account a lot of the times um i would uh, affirm robotically but more times than not I would affirm just casually if I'm like washing the dishes and I have nothing else to do or like I'm not listening to music I would just repeat I am rich and wealthy I am rich and wealthy I am rich and wealthy I am so rich and wealthy and I would just affirm like that or I would just affirm whenever I remembered whatever it is I was trying to manifest in this case it'd be money so Whenever I remember I was manifesting $1,200, I would say, I'm so happy. I received $1,200. $1,200 came to me so easy. 
I attract money so fast, so effortlessly. And that's exactly what happened. I would always attract money. Even today, I attract money very, very easy. Even when I'm not looking for it, even when I'm not consistently trying to make money, it always finds its way to give itself to me. And it's gone to the point where I cannot hide from it. It's like even times when I don't want money, it will like force itself into my bank account or force itself some way somehow into my life. And yeah, like there will be times when I'm like fully booked for clients and people will just like, even though they know they have to wait or they, I have like a waiting list, they literally would just send me their money even before I can give them their service. Even though they know that before I get to them, it'll be a while. They still send me their money. They, they send me tips. They send me, you know, money just is always coming to me very easily and flowing to me because of my mindset. And this is exactly how you should start seeing money if you want money to start showing up for you. Stop being so limited when it comes to money. Understand that the way you were taught to see money is not the end all be all. And you can unlearn a lot of those things because they're not true. You can manifest money without working hard. I did that for literally two years with COVID. I don't ever remember having to work hard at all for the money I was getting. It was just appearing, whether it be through family members, whether it be through like me finding money, whatever the case was, I was not lacking money because I always assumed money was abundant. Now, if you wanna start attracting more money, please adopt this mindset. Start unlearning these negative limiting beliefs around money now so that in 2023, you have more money flowing, you have more abundance, more job opportunities, and more opp opportunities in general when it comes to money and wealth. Now, I hope that cleared up a lot of confusion about like how I make or attract money. Um, anyone can do this. It just takes time for you to adopt these beliefs. And it doesn't take super long. It just takes consistency and persistence. Now, if you guys have any other questions about what I explained, please leave them down below. I will try to get to you as soon as I can. Um, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm still offering that. Please email me at conjuredrealm at gmail.com. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. All right, guys, happy manifesting.